I assume I'm recording. Uh, my camera holder is right over the timer. Yep, I am nine seconds in. Okay, hello all. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Yo ho ho, and a bottle of rum. Anyway, this is Laura. Laura from Craft and See with Laura B. Um, I haven't been on much. Just trying to figure out what I want. Um, but I did want to come on and show you several things. Um, one, I'll do a quick flip through of some of the journals that I have made in the past that need to be finished. Um, so that, you know, we can go over them together. And um, I would love to hear your ideas on which one you want to hear see first if you want to see them if not anything you know please comment let me know that you're watching more than the first three minutes anyway so there's this one um it's just blank and it's definitely like waterproof i i mod podged it and i think i did it to the fabric too tight because it tends to want to bow inward you see anyway so there's that one. I think this would be perfect for Mother's Day. I just haven't done anything with it. And here's mine, which I originally started out for just me because I'm a space case. If y'all didn't know it, mm, I am, first of all, I'm a useless trivia queen, as I call it. And this is my jam. So anyway, um, made this out of probably, a, I don't know, one of those boxes. So stay wild, moon child. I actually had a friend of mine who's a lot younger than I am, and he did not understand this phrase. No idea what it meant, and I yanked it out of his hand and told him he was undeserving of even looking at it. <laughs> so, yeah, just little cards. Might do a quick, you know, so I've got pockets already. Just a flip. There's my birth sign. So, oh, I made one of these. Oh, I'd forgotten I put that in there. So we've got a wax seal, which isn't a great one, but onto the lace, which is not an easy process, I'm telling you. It just never worked out the way I wanted it to. But I like it, and I'll continue to do it. So here's the other pocket. There's a pocket. Just washi tape. Here's signature number two. Oops. Two, the moon. Here's just some more stuff. More stuff. I was just throwing stuff in there to see what would stick and if I liked it. Like my first Tim Holtz, that, what do they call it? Rice paper? Whatever it's called. I don't, oh look, I embossed this. I completely forgot I embossed something. If you hear the licking, it's my dog. She's really licky. So I made this have just die cuts and slipped it all into here yeah. not sure I like it or not it's definitely different it, it's it, it's different <laughs> here's a little pocket get caught up in leaving never lose your sense of wonder I like that I barely see it amongst the stars and then do 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 Load odd, another one of these paper clips. So there's that. This does magnet. It has a magnet in it, but it doesn't like to stay closed. So yeah. See how it there. Okay. This one I've had an issue with because of this, the bending with the paper. And if anyone has any foolproof ideas of how to do this, please let me know. I will try to remember to link Tr Natasha at Treasure Books on here because I learned this, this from her. Whatever this is called, I learned it from her. I just can't get this to look better. And I really like this map page too. So, <laughs> my son's initials. So, trying, I was trying to go outside my comfort zone on this with all the different, and here's pocket two, here's pocket two, there's pocket here, pockets, just trying to do 
And then I tried an up, up pocket, you know, that kind of pocket and more. This is an adult coloring book, <clears throat> which hopefully there won't be any bad words in this. And I plan on covering it, obviously. Here's some of my tea dyed paper that I went. I tried to channel Barbara at 49 Dragonflies and Louis Heinzel. Yeah. Um, so bad word, bad word. Sorry. Uh, pocket in pocket. Like all this stuff will be covered up. <laughs> Excuse the bad words, people. But if you know me, you know, you know, shit happens, folks. I try to be good, but but all bad words will be covered up in a pocket. So there's that one. And here is my butterfly journal that I have made and am very slowly decorating it. So here is a cover. It is um, fabric my friend gave me. And then I lined it obviously with ribbon. And this, believe it or not, this is from one of those curtains that you can hang on a shower, you know, like a curtain rod. Uh, what do you call it? Um, think 70s and, you know, kind of blocks off the room. I totally can't. I'm blanking on the name. Maybe MS brain is hitting. But anyway, so I love the spine. I hope you all can see that spine. I just absolutely adore that spine. I mean, just, I love it. Anyway, it's pretty. So, ugh. We've got a pocket here, and I've put already made some journal cards with my die cut. Yes, it's a butterfly journal, so I went butterfly wild. Now, there shouldn't be anything offensive in this one that I have to cover up, so let's hope. So this is um, my birds and blooms that I used. I only have textured clear gesso, so I need to get some real gesso that's clear that's not textured, because I don't like the feel. Here's some um, book page from, I think this is 1956. I made a pocket out of, that is just a page accent. All of this will be covered because this is a bill. It's got my information on it. I did a um, embossing, tulips are my favorite flowers. This I did, um, Another tre Natasha at Treasure Books idea. Uh, napkins in cereal bag liner. Here's another corner tuck. Very fancy one. I guess I could have put it on a triangle. You know, there's the other side of my bill. The other side of that. And it's, there's nothing. So. More of that. First signature, here's a tuck spot. I am just really bad at getting these glued on to where anything will stay in it. Um, really thin, that 12 by 12 color box, I think it is. So, here's another one. One of these book pages, this might be from 1937. I have a few. Couple, I should say. There's a tuck spot, another tuck spot, a fragile tuck spot for a purdy thing, and then the maps, which I have to say, yay Australia, you look like the Millennium Falcon-ish, so I just noticed that when I put this together a few months ago, so yay Australia are winning the continent battle. So, here's just something I tried. Apparently, just on one side. So, just on one side. The other side. And this is... I was playing around with paper one day. And that's why it... Anyway, there it is. Another tuck spot. I have these dies and I think they're so cute. More ledger paper. Whatever. And this is, again, there's no pocket here. It's just there. 
and the third signature. Now, I don't space them very well, as you can tell. Well, maybe that is spaced, but I could have put them closer. So here's this, here's a, more of the fabric. So I made a pocket out of it. Uh, extra gesso on hummingbirds. Nice hummers, I do like my hummingbirds, doesn't everybody? Here I just stamped and colored. Put die cut there. I like that one. There's his signature. The center of the signature, I should say. It is not easy for me to use junk. Actual junk. It's... I always feel like it's not good enough. Now these are little fussy cut bird, or you know, die cut birds that I am clear embossed. And Miss P, and anyone else, if you can tell me why they tend to turn out like wax as they dry, I don't understand that. I don't know how well you can see it. But it's it, it turns waxy. You can see there's a little crack. Anyway, they turn really waxy looking like wax. Candle wax. And I don't like it. And I use, well, this embossing powder. So, I don't know. If anybody knows anything about that, please drop it down in the comments. Um, my attempt at sewing a ruffle, I don't know how to make ruffles. I really don't. I can never figure out, remember, if you're supposed to flip it this way or turn it underneath itself. I don't know. So, and our fourth signature. Here's some more of my bill. I'm trying not to show any of my information. There's a stamp. This, it was an experiment with trying to see what I could do with embossing. Yeah. Here's another pocket. See, here's another thing of what my paper comes in, you know, and I'm not sure I like that kind of stuff. Okay, so now we are at Europe. British Isles, there you are. Iceland, Madrid, Spain. Birds and Bloom, more of that. There, here's the other half of my just heat embossing. Good night, nurse. Heat embossing with the pocket. And so then there's this, the other part of my bill that another pocket with this sewing I sewed the butterfly hand stitched the butterfly on there that is not supposed to be in there and uh, wood cutouts from the buck 25 store so there's that one all right so I've gone through all the journals that I have ready to go in a way so I'm gonna continue on real quick so this is something that I made on a failed video, and I might could do another one, but basically, as you can see, it's a Rite Aid a drugstore chemist glassine bag, and I covered it with, I didn't have any PVA glue outside of Mod Podge that I wasn't going to waste on something like this. So it's the horrid Mod Podge. But um, I used Dollar Tree napkins, and so I just covered it both sides. We end up having a pocket here and a pocket here. And it is basically what I call a refillable notepad that you can take with you wherever you need to go. So I sewed it in, made it long. So if I want to put dingly danglies on it or whatever. Um, I had tried using the eyelet, you know, the crocodile eyelet to tie it closed but it's so thin it ripped right through it so anyway that's how we wound up with two pockets instead of just one on one side and i will uh, do a string enclosure or some other thing to keep it closed i think the one i have i have a bulldog clip the one i use so um i was at a productive weekend actually the last couple days but this is one thing that i learned from Patricia at Lake Cafe Craft. Lake Cafe Craft. Bienvenue to Craft and See with Laura B. 
I don't know much French. I know a few words. And really the only phrase I can actually say is, Puis-je aller aux toilettes, s'il vous plaît? So anyway, this is a ephemera keeper. It's an accordion ephemera keeper. So it kind of opens up like this. And all I have done is the backing. So let's, it folds out like this. And the paper is from Barra, Barra, Barraco Ink. And here's the back, but it's an infinity or it keeps going. So look, but wait, there's more. Anyway, I will link her stuff down below. It was from her winter bundle kit, which, oh, it, okay, that just needs to be re-glued. That came unglued. I'm like trying to open this and it's actually didn't glue. So there you go. There's that. And what I will do um, is put the little pockets in here. So there you go. And there's the front again. So we have that to work on together. Um, here is a cute little thing um, from, I want to say, the same lady, Barrick. I think, oh, good God, I need to learn how to say that because I really don't know how to pronounce it, especially since I don't have it written down. Um, I believe it's on her freebie. I'm pretty sure I bought a, it was her I bought this huge freebie kit through. I mean, like, it was very inexpensive, but anyway, it had a ton of freebies, kind of like Jamie B, Jamie B Journal's freebies. But anyway, this is one of the things that I made. And, um, this this sweater the winter sweater things i bought a bunch of uh several papers of just yarn and sweaters so here it is little reindeer and in it we have this one and then this isn't he cute he's just so happy he's kind of he looks a little derpy to me like he's just so happy and full of life and he just doesn't care what's going on and here's a postcard again. I backed it with this. So all of these have this on there. Duh. I should have shown that. Even the envelope. Oh, come on now. Which has more. I just, you know, tore it with a tore tore it. Tore it with a score ruler. Oh my gosh, I cannot speak. You'd think I'd shut up. So here is this little cute pocket, which I just thought was adorbs, and I wanted to show you. I don't like we're going to do much with that together. Um, and I learned this. This I just did yesterday. It was my prototype. Um, I was watching Sharon at Mad Paper Crush. Several ideas of hers. This is the first of two, and I've got one set off to the side that I'm still working on. Anyway. So we will open it up. Yeah, come on. Again, this paper is from Barrett Ink. Oh gosh, Barrett Ink. Hmm. I will learn how to say this again. Link this below. You know what? Link below. Link below. There. I can kind of read it. So anyway, it opens up like this, and here is a pocket and I tell you Tommy these little paper clips you sent me that I on my wish list that I've been salivating on they are not easy oh my goodness they are not easy if I still had false nails on it would have popped one off they're that hard so anyway it opens up like this here's another pocket here's a tuck spot and then you open like this and here is a little slit for ephemera which you do you have a piece of ephemera? Do I have? Yes, I do. So, there. This actually is from Jamie B. Journal Freak. Uh, Mystery Freak. So, then we have this. See, isn't that a beautiful, beautiful? I just, I didn't want to cover it up. <sighs> if I could have felt that I would have had a strong enough tuck spot with vellum, I would have done vellum. So, there's one. And you flip like this. There's the other. Another tuck spot. Here's a pocket. Here's a pocket. A longer pocket. So we flip this all closed again. 
I put a magnet in there. Close. I'm just going to... I used extra string in case, you know, you fill it up. Plus, if you want to add any, what do you call them? Danglings? Whatever those are. Charms. And then on the back, there's a really big... And this is five by basically five by five, if I remember correctly. So I will go through that together, which will be fun. And I have a big one here, but I'm just not even. We'll just do it real quick. This we will do. It is from uh, Pink Monarch Prints. It is her her uh, gra simply gratitude super simples. And I attach them all to this, a ring binder. And uh, we will go through that together. So they're not all decorated. I kind of stopped, put, stopped putting any effort into decorating them all and we'll do this together. So this is a project I have in mind. I just like, I didn't think I'd have any ideas. I was just gonna do these flip throughs and then, oh my gosh, my brain exploded. So, okay, I got these books. I acquired these books over the week, over Thanksgiving on Turkey Day. Um, little golden books, of which I have. This one is just a reprint of the Jungle Book. This one is actually from 1960, and it is torn up a bit. Just a bit. Doesn't look like there's any pages missing, but it is torn up. Down on the farm. Wasn't there a song about down on the farm? Anyway, so here's another 1960-something. Just nice books for the pages. Um, this one is to see how it's too fragile for an altered book. You get too much in there, and it's just going to tear right out. So this will be <laughs> the Fredsons. This is dirty as all get out. You dirty, dirty book. You should be ashamed how dirty you are. Yes, it's not a shame, but it should be. Ooh, copyright 1928. So I will definitely, obviously, try to clean this up as much as possible and figure out what to do with it. Um, yeah, it's, see, they're fragile enough that it's more you're going to use the covers and then the book pages for other things because it's just not going to hold much at all. Oh, Galveston. Galveston. Who sang that song? I mean, there's a song about every city in Texas, every town. So, um, anyway, this is, again, just another basic book. I didn't even look at this one to see when the copyright is, so I'm trying to hurry. 76. Ah, I was six. Anyway. So there's that one. And reorganization of the Supreme Court. Mm, that's been not on a little bit, it looks like. Obviously, library book. For those of you that are really young, that's called the Dewey Decimal System. And that's how we organized our books back in the day. Wink, wink. Got to give a shout out to that. So this is 1937. So it's got an introduction. Yeah, so I mean, I'm sure much has changed, but there's that one. And here's this one that is dirty. Dirty, dirty, I bet you dirty. Now, this is 1986, 87. It's, I wouldn't consider it vintage, but some people would. You know, the people that think anything. Yeah, so 1988. I was 18 years old and graduated high school. So, the illustrations are what are nice. But the, um, I think these are like classic illustrations, you know, that they just reprinted. Like, see, isn't that nice? Except for the dirt. She's a dirty girl. Now, Uno Mas, this is the one that is the most, oh, that I think of. Um, I have no idea what the title is. As you can see. It does not, I cannot find a missing page, that there, was, that there was a missing page, a page that is gone. 
but obviously it is fragile. And there is no, it just says copyrighted by W. Thomas, ninth edition of the Silent Instructor. But unless it came out here, there is no copyright date on it at all. There's no, the only date that it has is this right here, that it was according to the Act of Congress in the year of 1888 by W. Thomas in the office of the Library Con entered, you know, so I don't know when this book was published, when it was copywritten and out to the public, but it is just an instructor of stuff. Like, okay, fine, fine. To keep butter during hot weather, pol a polish for brass. So it has just stuff like this in it. Um, to reduce uh, meerschaum pipes, to reduce hair springs, vegetable instinct, <laughs> to prevent flies from injuring frame, cleaning silverware. So it has all that stuff. And then you flip to the back and someone pinned a thing by Mrs. J.E.K. on how to keep eggs and they wrote their own recipe and I'm thinking that's a quarter ounce. So you got four ounces of fresh lime, a quarter ounce cream of tartar, and one cup salt for a gallon of water and that's how you keep eggs for more than whatever. And then it has these that are glued on there. It says there is a harmless way to make your eyes sparkle, a way that will also strengthen and rhythm of that dull ache and tired feeling you mentioned. Make and use the following eye tonic. Dissolve one ounce Christos, whatever that is, in one pint clear water, then put two to three drops in each eye a few times daily. It's an excellent thing for granulated eyelids to reduce inflammation and take out soreness. Huh. Well, and here's on how to lose weight. You can quickly remove that burdensome fat and regain your former figure if you use Parnatus prepared at little expense as follows. Into a one and a half pints hot water, put four ounces Parnotis. Does anybody know what that is? And strain when cool. Take a spoonful before each meal. I don't know what that says. And your weight will su is sufficiently reduced, then discontinue treatment. No ill results. Follow this method of reduction and your flesh and skin will be left firm and smooth yeah right mm -hmm. yeah right but if i can find that you know hey let's try it here was something that was in this book too it's got writing journal two years and book something farm journal 1940 race to t philadelphia i really don't know what is going on there and repolish oil cloth. Anyway, so this is it. This book. I don't know what I'm going to do with it other than like read it. Anyway, thank you. Thank you. Sorry, I got lost in it. Thank you. You've been wonderful. Again, hit like, hit subscribe, share it to everyone if you choose. And I will catch you on the flip side. Peace. Peace out.